This is the Smart Stream Cam from AI Coco. This is one of the first competitors to the OBSBOT line of cameras that I have seen that seems to be built on par with OBSBOT, at least in quality. But how well will it hold up? Let's take a look and find out. And in the box we get paperwork, a USB-C cable, and the webcam itself. The camera is a clear departure from the OBSBOT form factor, doing its own thing, and I do like the design. The bottom has a quarter 20 tripod mount hole and a hinge for easy mounting on top of the monitor. Setup is easy plug and play and the camera is instantly recognized in OBS, Discord, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and Skype. It should be noted that this camera does not have any sort of software control programs like OBSBOT and everything is done through gestures. All right, so this is what the Coco AI stream cam looks like right out of the box with everything on automatic. And as you can see, this is pretty average webcam video quality. Um, we do have some hot spots over here in my face, and this is to be expected. This is what most webcams are going to look like when you leave them in automatic mode. And right now I'm about arm's length away. I'm going to mess around with the settings of the webcam and see if I can correct the video a little bit later. But first I'm going to mess around with the tracking. And as I move from side to side, everything seems to be working okay there. I'm going to stand up and move around and it seems to be following me without any problems. I'm gonna, I've got some clutter over here in the shot. I'm gonna step behind the shot to see if it loses me. And the green light is flashing, so it looks like it did lose me. But we'll see, will it pick me back up? And it looks like it did. And I think, yeah, this is as far as the camera can tilt this way and it seems to be tracking me just fine. Now I have noticed that the tracking on this camera is a little more snappy than the OBSBOT where this is going to track everything a lot faster and stay locked in and uh, lock in on the, the target and, and snap to where they're at a lot faster. Whereas the OBSBOT is going to be a little bit slower with the tracking and uh, Basic, you know, it, it's one of those things where you could actually move out a frame and then the OBSBOT could turn to get you. So it's not necessarily better or worse. It's just a different kind and a different style of tracking. And another thing I've noticed is right here, we've got an AI Coco watermark on the video. That's easy enough to turn off with just a gesture. If we just hold our hand out for five seconds, it should shut off and if we hold it back up for another five seconds if you prefer that watermark it turns back on um, personally I don't want a watermark in my video so I'm going to shut it off and now while we're on the uh, gesture commands if we do the L sign it'll zoom in so yeah it looks like it zooms in and out in two steps so to zoom out yeah and to zoom back in it should be two steps to zoom it looks like it zooms into a halfway point stops and then all the way in I personally don't have any strong feelings about that because I never use zoom on a webcam either way and as far as using more gesture controls to control the camera if we show our palm it'll pause tracking which I've got it paused now so if I move back and forth, it's not going to follow me. And if I use the OK symbol, it'll follow me again. And that seems to work out pretty well. And now I've opened the configure video properties of the webcam. So I'm going to go through and see if I can improve this picture any at all. Um, and basically, usually we can get a little bit better video quality out of going in and setting these settings manually. So I'm going to mess around with that right now. And I could definitely mess around with the video a little bit more, but I think as a quick and dirty, this looks a lot better than just leaving it on auto. And here is an audio test of the built-in microphone of the Coco AI webcam. I'm about an arm's length away from the microphone now. Again, this is an audio test of the built-in microphone of the Coco AI webcam. Mic check one, two, three. Mic check one, two, three, four. So how does it compare against the OBSBOT 1080 and 4K cameras? Let's take a look. 
I've set up both the 1080 and 4K OBSBOT cameras side by side with the AI Coco webcam. Anyway, up close in video quality, I think the OBSBOT 4K is the clear winner. But when I back off at presentation distance, which is what these cameras are all designed for, we see that the difference in video quality becomes less significant. As far as tracking goes, I think they're all very similar in performance, with the AI Coco being a bit more quick and snappy, and both of the OBSBOTs being slower but more smooth. So take your pick on that. And here are some video comparisons with all of the cameras set on automatic with their default settings. So before I wrap up, I do need to throw out my normal disclaimer that AI Coco did send me this camera for free in exchange for this unbiased video review. AI Coco did not pay me for this, and all opinions expressed in this video are mine and mine alone. So as for my final thoughts on this camera, I think it does what it does, and it does its job very well. I'm a little disappointed that it doesn't have any sort of software control, but keep in mind that this camera does run 10 bucks cheaper than the OBSBOT 1080 version, and the video on this camera does look a lot better than the OBSBOT 1080. The tracking on this camera is definitely faster and snappier than what you get with the OBSBOT, and depending on your style and what you prefer, that may or may not be a good thing. I actually kind of prefer the, the snappy tracking on this in comparison to the OBSBOT. I do like that this camera is $10 cheaper than the OBSBOT 1080 and provides a much higher video quality than you get with the OBSBOT 1080. But that wraps things up for this one. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. That's it for now, and I'll see you next time.